using envelopes. Last time I talked about using the trim tool along with the align start to zero command to quickly create an audiobook sample. Now I have another tool that I use to add a little special sauce to my audiobook samples. First, let's look at the desired result, and then we'll look at my preferred tool. The extra style I like to add is a fade in at the beginning of the sample and a fade out at the end. It helps the sample feel more polished, as well as indicating that there's much more before and after what's offered in the sample. One way to do this is with Audacity's fade in and fade out effects. I like my fades to take about 3 seconds, so you could just go to the beginning of the sample, select 3 seconds, then select Effects Fade In from the menu, then go to the end of the sample, select 3 seconds from that end, and select Effects Fade Out from the menu. Fade's done. Examples are very short, so both ends can be shown. But I have some problems with that technique. First, these two effects apply a linear fade. There are no options for how you want the fade to behave. It's just a straight change from the starting amplitude to silence over the selected duration, or vice versa if fading in. Also, these effects are destructive. If you apply one, then listen to the result and decide you want a longer or shorter fade, your only option is to undo the fade, reselect a different amount of audio, and apply the fade again. It's okay, but it's not great. Using envelopes, on the other hand, is great. The envelope tool allows you to create the precise shape of the fade you want, and allows you to adjust after the fact, because envelopes are non-destructive. Here's what I mean. To apply an envelope, we use the Envelope tool, which is the second icon in the group of six buttons on the main toolbar. You can also use the shortcut key F2. You'll see a line appear at the top and bottom of the track, in blue if you're using the default theme. That's the envelope. Go to a point three seconds or so from the end of the sample and click on the line. This creates a control point on the envelope. Now go to the end of the track and click on the end of the envelope line. This will create another control point. Drag that control point down to create a fade out in the envelope shape. You can drag as little or as much as you like, creating a fade that sounds good to you. Do the same at the beginning for a fade in. After it's done, click on the selection tool again or hit F1. Notice that the track's background shows where the envelope has been applied. Now, here's the magic. If you decide you want to change the fade, just go back to the envelope tool and make your adjustments. You can add a control point in the middle of the fade. Maybe you want the first part to fade more slowly than the end. Give it a listen and adjust to your heart's content. If you don't like that point in the middle, just drag it up until it's off the track and it disappears. You can even take the fade away entirely, something you can't do once you've applied a fade in or fade out effect, and then done something else. Once you're happy with the result, export to MP3 as usual, and you're ready to impress the world.